Hi, good morning and welcome to the ZP Vlog and Podcast. So every um, Sunday at 8 a.m. London time, we like to do a vlog and podcast, which is really a roundup um, from the news from Zimmer Peacock for this week. So one of the first things I will mention this week is that on the 10th of November um, in California, um, San Diego, we are having a workshop um, and the workshop will be around the topics of CGM and wearable sensors. Um, now, we did have a workshop just this week. And in that workshop, all the attendees were able to make a glucose sensor, make a lactate sensor, and make an oxygen sensor. And so they actually fabricated them during the workshop, and then we got them to live test those sensors as well. So I was really delighted because everyone got to make something and everyone got to test it, and everything worked. Now, the reason I say it like that is because obviously you've got... Um, a dozen people, all with different lab skills, all pipetting, and I, um, you know, their their pipetting might be different, their lab skills might be different, but the fact that we were able to get them all to pipette, and all to cure these sensors, and then able to actually test them with the glucose, lactate, and oxygen was really, really impactful. I just want to say a quick hello to Aftab, who's here this morning. So Aftab. Um, is one of our key supporters and um, our excellent representative in India. So just a quick verbal update that we did have a workshop in Norway this week on glucose, lactate and oxygen. Um, it was really well attended. We'll put some pictures out of regarding it. We did do the practicals on, as I say, glucose, oxygen and lactate. And also we were teaching electrochemistry. And I would say that we had a professor of electrochemistry in the audience we had a, I mean, an active professor of electrochemistry in the audience. We had a, um, a former professor of material science in the audience. We had somebody from industry in the audience. We had a student um, in the audience. We also had somebody with a quality control background in the audience. So it was quite a diversity. And I'm really pleased the way the whole ZP team were able to explain what are electrochemical technologies to non-electrochemists and I think that's a really important aspect of the um, of the workshop so the hands-on workshop we did it this week in Norway absolutely superb and I'm really really pleased and so proud of the team um, now it's been a busy week because I've just made this comment about there being a workshop in Norway this week at the beginning of the week um, myself and some of the ZP Swansea team were actually in Swansea um, doing a workshop at a conference called um, IPM, which is Integrated Pest Management. It's really interesting because at Zimmer and Peacock, we make sensors for human health, agriculture, aquaculture, environmental. And you realize that pest control and pest control can thing mean things like, you know, lotus, lotus um, that are eating crops, um, etc. Um, there's a role also there for um, sensors in that as well. So it was very good to be given the opportunity to present. So thank you to the uh, 40 people who were listening to our presentation. I think some of them were really taken by our nitrate sensor. So it was a great opportunity to present and it was a great opportunity to um, also learn, you know, because you go to a conference, let's say about pest management, you know, which is probably the first time we're really using these words, you know, in our, in our video, but you know, it was it was really fascinating, and of course, when you think about, you know, humanity, you know, controlling the pests is really an important um, aspect of it. So it was a really um, useful conference, and thank you very much for the um, invite or the um, organisers for inviting us to that. Now, as part of pest management, you know, as I say, we were able to present, and we so we did talk about this entire technology stack that we have at Zimmer and Peacock. Whether it's continuous glucose monitoring, continuous lactate monitoring, continuous nitrate monitoring, we are definitely the sensor to API um, company, which means there's absolutely no doubt about it. You know, if we can, at the moment, I would say, you know, if I was to find us, if it's in the liquid phase and it's chemical, biochemical um, or biological, we can measure the analyte of interest on our electronics, get the data to the cloud and then turn that data into information 
and using what's called an API call, send it across to other people's cloud. So we're definitely the sensor to API um, company. And that's something that we were mentioning in the um, workshop. I'm not in the workshop, so in the, in the IPM conference. Um, now I have mentioned the, um, the workshop and it was really successful. And so we're putting together a sort of page. When you look at Zimmer Peacock this year, I think our workshops are really good. And it's because really we've had a lot of practice. I mean, when I look at our workshops, just this year we have actually now done um, CIGES, which was a conference at the Biosensor Conference in CIGES. We did a whole day's workshop there. And then we've also um, had our conference now, our workshop in Horton. We have two booked for IIT Bombay and SSN College um, also in India. So we have two that are now booked. Now they're in October. Um, we have apologized online um, and it's really the UK's, I don't want to say fault, but the UK has made some restrictions on people flying into the UK. And it's also sometimes hard for UK citizens to fly to other places. So we have apologized um, for that, but we are going to go and to India this year and do a couple of workshops as soon as we can sort out the visa situation. Um, we also have um, two other workshops organized this year, one in Horton um, and also one in San Diego. I just want to sort of highlight the one in San Diego. So on the 10th of November, um, 2022, Zimmer Peacock will be doing a workshop in San Diego on CGM, continuous glucose monitoring and other wearable biosensors. This will be a one day workshop um, and will really be a sort of um, a distilled version of the two day workshop that we've just, that we've just completed um, in Norway, but it was really excellent, the one what we did in Norway, and I'm sure this will be excellent as well um, in San Diego. So I just wanna kind of um, essentially highlight that. Um, now what's nice about these workshops is they are very hands-on, you know, that people are genuinely pipetting, and it was really, really nice to see that um, one of the um, attendees, as I say, was actually a professor of electrochemistry and he was doing his own experiment and experimenting as he did the experiment. He was turning the stirrer on and off. So it was good to see because obviously because of his scientific background, he was able to extend beyond what we were actually doing. So it was really um, excellent. Um, now, we also did our webinar this week. So every week we have the ZP Developer Zone webinar. Um, I think with the ZP Developers Zone webinar, we are going to, um, I want to say we're, we're going to step up our game a little bit um, in the near future uh, because I think the ZP Developers Zone web, ZP Developers Zone has been excellent. I think we can take it to a next level. Um, so we will be doing that. But we have our webinar every week at 8 a.m. London time. Questions come in, we answer the questions. I think you know, people get a real value from it. Now, one of the questions that came in this week was actually around um, the detection of um, organic molecules. Um, so in organic chemistry, you can have a starting material or reactant and you can have products and there's a conversion of them. And the conversion is really the efficiency of the reaction. And so we were doing a, um, a talk about how to follow that kind of experiment in real time um, using electrochemistry. And I think, you know, um, it's something that we're very interested in at Zimmer and Peacock. Now, the reason that we're sort of interested in it is because we do actually understand electrochemistry and we also understand organic synthesis um, as well. Um, several of us have chemistry backgrounds and it really fits into something that we're quite um, passionate about at ZP, which is really Industry 4.0. And part of Industry 4.0 is really this um, acronym, um, OPCUA, Open Platform Communication United Architecture. And OPCUA just says, um, if you stick to some rules, then other vendors can, can use your technology as part of an entire system. So at Zimmer and Peacock, we do see ourselves as part of an ecosystem. And if that ecosystem is held together by um, OPCUA, Open Platform Communications United Architecture, then we are happy to be part of that. Because we do believe in op interoperability at Zimmer and Peacock. Um, 
and so we really hope to be able to um, be part of that. So we were you know, delighted to um, talk about that this week and put some more, if I say, meat on the bone from our perspective about what Zimmer Peacock is doing around that. So I really just want to sort of summarise up very quickly. So it's this is a look back at the week. It's been a very intense week. We've at least been to one conference in Swansea where we talked about pest management and there, you know, the, the most classic kind of pests that we know about in terms of um, agriculture, for example, could be the lotus, but there's also sort of worms that um, infect potatoes, etc. So it's it's not just um, lotus. From there, we went to, to do a two day workshop. It was really intense, um, but extremely, I think, useful for the delegates. Um, they made their own sensors. They tested their own sensors. They took their own sensors home with them. So that was really delightful. Because of that, we're now doing um, several other workshops. So there's a sort of landing page for ZP workshops now, and we're doing at least two in India. I have mentioned, you know, we're just trying to sort out the visa situation, but we also are doing a workshop, for example, in California, in San Diego on the 10th of November, and that's going to be uh, pretty cool. And Zimmer and Peacock, we're definitely, when talking about pest management, aquaculture, agriculture, human health, we are the sensor to API business. And part of that sort of application program interface strategy is also being OPCUA compliant, um, open platform communication, United Architecture compliant as well, so that we can um, fit into the ecosystem. You know, so if somebody has a, um, a control system from Siemens and Siemens could potentially receive data coming from our sensor platform and use it to control pumps, etc. So I want to say thank you. This is a... Um, we do this webinar every Sunday at 8 a.m. just to sort of wrap up the week. I want to say a particular thank you to Aftab who came online this morning. Great supporter of Zimmer Peacock and we do really appreciate it. And we will speak to you all soon and I wish you all a good week. Don't forget we have the ZP Developer Zone on Thursday at 8 a.m. Got a lot of questions in this week. It should be pretty intense. So happy to have um, to speak to 